The Thing That Drifted Ashore, A Most Ominous Tale, by Master Horror Mangaka Junji Ito. One day, the corpse of a gigantic creature crashed onto a certain shore in the Pacific Ocean. Our protagonist enters. By the time I got to the beach, there were already many onlookers crowding around the thing that drifted ashore. The onlookers begin to speak. It seems to have a body length of around 30 meters. I heard that a whale got beached in the news this morning, but... This doesn't look like a whale no matter what. It has a grotesque head. I suppose this thing might actually be a prehistoric life form. Humanity has enough scientific knowledge to fly to the moon, but I guess we still don't know about what's all in the ocean. And besides, I hate the ocean. Why did I go through all the trouble to spend half a day journeying to a place like this? I'm not even so sure myself. On top of that, I can't believe I've come to directly see a grotesque thing like this of all things. My dislike of the ocean originally stemmed from my fear of marine life. Like this to begin with it. Fear of creatures from the deep ocean. What originally brought about this fear was my visit to the aquarium as a child. It was a small aquarium, set up inside the declining zoo of a certain town. I still can't forget the bizarre world of that half underground dark building, even now. Several windows on the walls with creepy fish floating on the other side. It felt like they were beings that had been forgotten by all the universe. Ever since then, I've often dreamed of the ocean. The dream, it's always the same. I keep drifting in the deep blue sea, and then I encounter the kind of bizarre, grotesque giant fish that have continued to live since ancient times. A bunch of scientists came over. They began to examine the grotesque being. Hmm. Please have a look. There are a lot of curious perturbances inside its body. What do you suppose they are? Perhaps those parts emitted light, like an angler fish. Then this giant creature probably swam through the deep, pitch-black ocean while just barely illuminating it. Just imagining it sends chills down my spine. Oh my, there are transparent spots on places around its skin. It's a little murky though. It's true, it's a creature with rare skin. It might have been more cleanly transparent when it was still alive. It sure smells though, it's already begun to rot. What do you suppose we should do with this carcass after this? We can't just leave it like this. This is the discovery of the century. We can't just let it rot away like this, right? The sun beams down on everyone. It's gotten pretty hot. Now it'll probably start decaying that much faster. <sighs> What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? No, I got a little bit dizzy. Well. It's no wonder given the heat and the stench. You should go rest in the shade. How kind of you to say that. Did you come by here by yourself today? Yes, for some reason when I heard the news, I just couldn't help myself. It was the same with me. For some reason, I just couldn't sit still, and I ended up coming out here. But I actually hate the ocean. Though, I'm embarrassed to admit it, I'm afraid of fish. I don't like the ocean either. Huh? It seems like we have a lot in common. Why is it that you dislike the ocean? Oh, I'm sorry. It's really none of my business. No. The truth is, actually, someone I knew was shipwrecked at sea. I wonder if you remember it. Seven years ago, a ferry sunk during a storm off the coast of Izo, and a lot of people ended up disappearing, right? He was a passenger of that ship. In the end, no trace of him was ever found. That's horrible. Was he your friend? He was actually my fiance. That's just harsh. He couldn't be alive anymore, right? I've already given up hope, but sometimes I dream of that ocean. In my dreams, I become he who disappeared and then drifted. I'm drifting through the deep sea. I'm just floating like an embryo. The strange thing is, I never get hungry. I feel the presence of other people nearby, but I don't care about that at all. Then I meet creepy, 
grotesque creatures in the deep blue sea. But there's an invisible wall between me and them. So, I don't have to worry about being attacked. I get so terribly frightened that I feel like I'm going to lose my mind. And it's always that same dream. Huh? Strange. I've also had a very similar dream occasionally. As the day goes on, more onlookers begin to come to the beach. There's been an increase in the number of gawkers. Yes, if they successfully touch it, we're in for trouble. Tell the police to keep them back. Hey, there's something inside. Oh, what? In the stomach. I can see something on the other side of the transparent skin. Quick, take a good look. Huh? It's true. What is it? Ugh, it's terrible. Hey, you, what's the matter? The onlookers all look in terror and say, It's people! The grotesque, rotting people inside this grotesque thing that drifted ashore. The onlookers all begin to scream and say, It's people! It's people! There are people in its stomach! And there are many of them! Ah, I see people over here too! This is terrible! The thing is, a people-eating sea monster. How terrifying! But when did it eat so many people? Plus, it's weird judging from this location, this must be its intestine. And yet, from what I can see, they haven't been digested at all. Anyway, hurry up and cut open its stomach and take out the victims right away. Everyone on the beach begins to riot. It seems something has happened. They begin to cut open the grotesque being that drifted ashore, and as it cuts open, they see... Whoa! And as they scream, a tremendous amount of dead beings come out of this grotesque thing, all rotten and malisk. They all look in awe and say, whoa, as all of these dead bodies that slid out from the grotesque being just lie on the beach, rotting more and more. They look over, till they look closely at one, it appears that one of its eyes are opening. Hey, they're moving! They're alive! It's true, they're alive! As they begin to panic. What did you say? Call ambulances! Call ambulances! But the bodies just begin to struggle more and more, moving their cold and dreary fingers and limbs all about the beach rotting more and more in agony and pain. She then screams, <gasps> This person is Tadashi-san. It's, it's Tadashi-san. This is my fiancé, who was shipwrecked off the coast of Izo seven years ago. Oh, what did you say? Are you sure you're not mistaken? Yes, this is Tadashi-san. It's really him. The incident off the coast of Izo. It was an accident that certainly did create dozens of missing people. Then you're saying these people are all the passengers from the back then? However, why are they still alive? Did they survive for a whole seven years in the gut of this creature after being swallowed? That's absurd. There's no way it could be possible. Tadashi-san, Tadashi-san, answer me. It's me. My, can't you tell, Tadashi-san? The creature then lets out an ear-wrenching screech as they all begin moving towards her. The dead creatures begin to scramble more and more, slamming their tendons and arms and legs against the ground. They begin to crawl, and everyone screams in terror. They run about, fearing for their lives. Hurry up, and subdue them! They're just like parasites. Huh? Did you say parasites? Yes. Do you suppose they were surviving in its guts by absorbing nutrients taken in by the creature? I see. But is it really possible for a human being to survive as a parasite in the body of another animal? In investigations after that, it was determined that every one of them were mentally ill. That only leaves one question. What do you suppose they saw in the deep ocean through that transparent skin.
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to comment and tell me that you like this format so I know to keep making these type of videos. And don't forget to like and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And remember, you're important and you matter. Have a great night everyone.